Hi, Joe Weisenfelder from Cars.com. We gave you the Challenger overview in the other video. Now we'll talk about the SRT8 aspects and the performance. Because it's the SRT8 version, which is the only one they've built for 2008, it has a 6.1 liter version of the Hemi engine that you've probably heard of in other cars. This one is good for 425 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. It drives the rear wheels, as a sports car should, through a five-speed automatic transmission. Now this version of the engine has a reinforced crankshaft. It also doesn't have the cylinder deactivation feature that the 5.7 liter Hemi has. That's a fuel saving feature because the buyer of the 6.1 liter isn't going to be as interested in that. At least that's what Dodge says. The resulting gas mileage is 13 city and 18 highway. It's not great, but if they're not sold out by the time you see this video, you better get to the website or get on the phone. Orders are being taken, but they're not going to be delivered until May. So what do those output specs get you? They get you 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, according to Dodge, top speed of 170. They also say that the braking performance is going to be benchmarked 60 to 0 in 110 feet, which is quite short. Also specific to SRT models, including the Charger, which is the sedan version, are the 20-inch wheels, large disc brakes, including four-piston calipers from Brembo on all four corners. Now it comes with all-season tires, but you can also get Goodyear supercar tires that are summer tires especially. So that's what makes the SRT8 aspect of this car special. Uh, I think it's not a bad idea for Dodge to go with the SRT8. First, it keeps the interest up, the excitement, and then come 2009, there will be more affordable versions to come. You still get the iconic shape, everything that makes it a challenger, but without as much power. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.